Welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Tightness testing on commercial installations. So I'm going to walk you through how I carry out tightness testing. So I'm measuring my pipe work in order to get my volume, how many meters they are. Once I turn off my gas appliances, I check the additional pipe work length and the size. And then I need to get my meter size. I look at my Q max and I also check my my number underneath the barcode. So here I've measured three meters of three quarter inch pipe work. That's the last connection to the boilers and I have times it by naught point naught 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 forty six and there's my answer here naught point naught naught one and then I've found my seven meters and then I've times that by 0.0054 and I've got 0.037. Then I get my two figures, my 0.001 and I add it to my 0.037 and then I get my pipe work total volume. Then I need to add 10%. I need to work out what 10% is of 0.038. So I'll end up with 0.003. And then I have to add that. Okay. And then what I do now, I've got my U16 meter up here. And then I put my figure in here. And then I need to add the two together now. So that's my total pipe work and fittings to my meter size which is 0.025 so my volume there and then I end up with my total installation volume of 0.066 now that I have my total installation volume I can go to my book so because I'm carrying out work on an existing meter this is what I'm doing it says here let by testing procedure i need to carry out a let by test first as with any tightness test on existing pipe work a let by test must be done first the let by test is done at 50 percent mop i.e for a mop of 21 millibar the let by test is done at about 10.5 millibar so we've got let by test times here in table b11 all right, so we're going to go to that. So our volume, our total volume is 0 0.066. So we know that that is below this volume here. So that means that our let by test is going to be two minutes long. Then after that, we need to carry out stabilization. The temperature stabilization time will be either six minutes or equal to tightness test duration, whichever is longer. So here we are. Table B12 in this book is giving me my tightness test duration using gas on installations. So I know that my total installation volume is 0 0.066 and it is less than this 0 0.15. So I know that my tightness test duration is two minutes but my stabilization is six minutes and that is longer so we're going to have a temperature stabilization period of six minutes before we do our tightness test once that's complete we carry out our tightness test at mop you can check line drawing you also need to know what is your maximum allowable pressure drop you have to look at what is the volume of the smallest occupied space so carry out a measurement in order to find out where is your smallest occupied space in which the gas passes through and then that will give you the indication of how much pressure drop that you are allowed over the test period this here is another example of a tightness test carried out. In this tightness test here, it says gas type natural gas, and you've got NG there. Installation, E for existing. Could weather changes in temperature affect the test? Yes, it says here. Meter type, diaphragm, rotary. 
diaphragm meter and then we have here U25 meter designation that's the type of meter and we've got meter bypass installed no there's the gas meter there the size installation pipework and fittings your total volume worked out test medium fuel gas fuel gas air gas tightness test pressure 21 millibar pressure gauge gauge readable movement 0.1 and then we've got maximum permitted drop 1.6 because they have looked at the, the size of the smallest occupied space and they've worked out that the maximum permitted drop is 1.6 let by test period two minutes stabilization period six minutes tightness test duration two minutes any inadequately ventilated areas to check no is a barometric pressure correction necessary no actual pressure drop zero have inadequately ventilated areas been checked yes no not applicable tightness test pass or fail pass and then you've got the let by test here pass let by test pressure 10.5 let by test duration two minutes tightness test pressure 21 millibar tightness test duration two minutes tightness test pass or fail okay i hope that has helped you to understand how to carry out a commercial tightness test all right any comments please leave them in the section below or if you think i've missed out anything important um, i can go into further detail on another video on a part two or three etc but hopefully that's given you a better understanding of how to carry out commercial tightness testing okay until next time bye bye bye